Deacon Marty's Reflection, take two. Hi everybody, Deacon Marty here, coming to you from my house, to my room in the house. You can see I, I have my guitars with me and my recording equipment. This is where I spend a lot of time. And in the last five weeks since I've been working at home, I've spent a fair amount of time in this room um, and had a lot of chance to reflect on a number of things. Uh, and I'm grateful that Father Kevin has uh, allowed me to share one of those reflections with you today. So the great physicist, Albert Einstein, was he was one of the prominent people at one of the most extraordinary periods in the history of science. And as he got older in life and reflected on his, his time, he, he became very spiritual. Even though he wasn't religious, he was a spiritual man. And, and he came up with this observation. He said that he'd come to understand that there are only two ways to go through life. You either see everything as a miracle or you see nothing as a miracle. And, and I've always remembered that and I was really struck by it. And it, it occurs to me that um, it's a profound statement about who we are as Christians and more precisely about the virtue of gratitude. I know in my life I have lived both ways um, as a, as a, uh, in my youth and through my young adulthood and uh, uh, starting out my family. I, I, I think I actually took everything for granted. I just assumed everybody had the same experiences I had, right? I had a wonderful family, my mom and my dad and my grandmother, um, my sister, my uncles, um, and I, I met Nancy, my wife, and we had three children. And, and, and while all of that is very special, uh, it seemed like it was something that happens every day to just about everybody. And, and I probably took it all for granted. And then one day, um, I remember my dad had a heart attack and, and he died, one heart attack, and he died suddenly. And one of those people that had been there every day of my life who um, I would go to for advice and we would talk and, you know, wasn't going to be there in the same way anymore. And I realized I'd taken my father for granted and, and I vowed never to do that again. Now, equating this to Albert Einstein, what I failed to see was the miracle in everyday life. I didn't see my dad as a miracle or my family or my children. I, I loved them. I still love them. But for a long time, I just assumed that they'd always be there until my dad wasn't there anymore. And I've tried never to look at life that way again. And so we come to this Easter season and I found myself once again just taking for granted that we would all be together and we would celebrate the Triduum and there would be a Mass of the Lord's Supper and a Good Friday service and, and an Easter vigil. And then it didn't happen. We all had to be separated. And it made me realize that I had taken all those experiences in the past for granted. I wasn't grateful for each and every mass that I was able to attend, each and every vigil that I was able to attend, each and every encounter that I had with all the people of St. Margaret's. All of those I didn't see as miracles, and so I took them for granted. And that's really the difference between seeing miracles in everything and miracles in nothing. If we can see God's action in every encounter we have in life, we see that as a miracle. And when we are conscious of that, uh, it produces a sense of gratitude within us. And I've come to believe that gratitude is the vehicle that leads us to that most elusive of all gifts that Jesus has wished for us, and that is peace. Because when we're grateful for every encounter, we can be at peace when those encounters, those encounters no longer come our way. So, even though we're separated and even though we're struggling because life isn't what it used to be just a few weeks ago, 
be grateful for all the times that we were together and look forward to a time where we might be together again. So let me just finish today by saying thank you for being a part of my miracle today in this encounter. And thank you for letting me be a part of your miracle. May God bless you, may he keep you safe, and may he keep you healthy. Thank you.